He's selling a kettle. That was kind of impressive, right? <laughs> What's up, players? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Zen Dude Nation, this is Ask the Zen Dudes episode two, where you post questions about health and fitness and lifestyle and fun, and we answer those questions. So Cactus welcome. Cactus time. Cactus time. Cactus time. Can you find that sound effect? It's like pew, pew, pew. Happy Tuesday. It's a Happy Tuesday. Tuesday. We're getting more organized about our YouTube channel because as it grows, guys, first of all, thank you to our awesome community. 60,000 subscribers. 60K subscribers. 4 million views. Thank you. Thank you. We love you guys. Gracias. We get asked a lot of questions. So once a week, typically Sundays, we're going to post to our Facebook group in the four week mm -hmm. challenge below. That's where we get our questions from. So if you have a question for us that you want answered on Ask the Zen Dudes, click the link below, put your email in and get into our community so that you can post the questions to our free uh, accountability Facebook, group. Facebook group, Account yeah. accountability group. We got about 6,000 strong in there of Zen Dudes and that. So if you like our videos, or if you like us, Lots of send everyone in the group that. is like us, so it's, you're probably gonna like them too. So join and then you can ask the questions. We're not gonna answer every single question every week. We're gonna pick out like probably 15 to 20 questions. So if your question does not get answered and you want it, at, or you want it answered, just ask it again the following yeah. week. And also you guys, some of the questions you ask, we just don't answer because we have videos to answer the questions. So if you ask a question, right, and we don't answer it, just type it into YouTube and you may find a video because we've already answered the question. That's true. I'll start off by shouting out Crossrope because they are the product we use every day, pretty much no matter what. Right, there it is. We got the agility rope. And today we also got the speed rope <laughs> made an appearance. Oh, hey, hey. Speed rope. Hey, Mr. Speed rope, how you doing there? It's the old bolt set. Ah, oh, this is the three ounce uh, mm. speed rope. The oh. other one is the sprint rope. There you go. So we'll link these up in the description for ah. you guys. <laughs> Yo, man, can you gotta be careful. Bro, I actually just stabbed myself. Next uh, sponsor we wanna talk about, guys, is, uh, you know, Brandon and I, we don't, we don't get super deep into supplements. That's why we only work with one company, and that company is Athletic Greens. They have a lot of great products, such as whey protein. We make our protein shakes every Friday. Check out Epic Protein Epic Shakes. Epic Protein Time. Zen Dudes, what's that one, chocolate? Chocolate. Chocolate. It's my uh, favorita. And then we have, the green juice powder right here. This this uh, this is like the main Athletic Greens as a company. This is their main product. It's the super flagship, food. if you will. Huh? Flagship. This is a flagship right here. <laughs> yeah, it's a flagship. It's basically a replacement for vegetables. Plus, you get a ton of extra micronutrients. So, it's it's a replacement for vegetables when you can't eat vegetables. Yes. Eat your vegetables. Eat your veggies. And Athletic Greens, if you know you're you're having a busy day. Yeah. And you don't get it. Maybe we understand. Maybe you have a burrito bowl for lunch. You're like, hey, I should get a portion of vegetables. Just scoop. You can just pour athletic greens powder onto the burrito mm -hmm. and uh, mix it up. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. That's going to taste like <laughs> Zen Dude Nation. We're happy to be here with you. Let's dive into these questions. Ask. Wolfie Dragon, my dude, what is mm -hmm. good? Mm -hmm. Wolfie. Wolfie asks, <laughs> yes, my friends, I've got a question. Can the tricep chest dips what he's meaning is dips. Mm. Can they do harm to the shoulders, especially me being in my late 40s? Thank you, Brandon. My dude, that is a great question. If you are doing triceps in, tricep dips incorrectly, then you definitely can damage your rotator cuff. So man, the best thing I'd recommend is, I think there's some awesome people who have dip tutorials on the YouTube. Yeah. Probably dudes like, I'm guaranteed Elliot Hulse was done, has done one, or the buff dude. Frank Moder Moderno. There we go. So. YouTube that one of these guys and just look at the tutorial they've done because I'm sure they've made an awesome video on it So I got to say about that totally totally uh, Totally agree with Brandon and my thing personally is I don't do a whole lot of dips because I actually experience the same issues with my shoulder, so I don't even do them. I just sub out a lot of push-ups tricep push-ups a great replacement boom the mall who has a cool profile pic asks <laughs> I have one question too I have fat on the lower right side of the chest. 
but not on the left that much and I'm following the Getting Lean program, will the program target that or do I need any specific exercise to target that area to give it the proper shape? The mall, great question my friend. Brandon, go ahead. All right, my dude, I'm gonna say this. Uh, the best you can do is just try to train your pecs equally. So you can do exercises like push-ups, you can you know get some weighted exercises, do bench press, flies, things of that sort. But if you notice that there's like a fat polyp or something separate there, you by training aren't gonna be able to necessarily get rid of that once you get down to a certain level of body fat percentage. So if you're already super lean and something's still there, there's not much you can do about it. Go see your physician, maybe it's just a fat, a fat polyp and maybe they can remove it for you. For sure. And if it's on the other side and you're just talking about a little bit of fat here and you're asking, I think, about spot reduction, you can't do spot reduction. Like my boy said over here, you have to lose body fat. So you can't lose body fat in specific areas of your body. You just have to be in a calorie deficit to lose body fat overall. And hopefully those areas of fat disappear, giving you a more symmetrical shape. David Lloyd! David, David Lloyd! Lloyd. What's up, baby? Do you take BCAAs on rest days? Thanks. No, thank you, dude. Go ahead. We do, actually. In general, yes, we take branched chain amino acids in the morning because if we're fasted, we want to help maintain the lean muscle tissue that we do have. Yep, the BCAAs are taken on the rest days. Mono asks, what are your opinions about a low carb, high fat, and protein diet? Is that, is that a, about a low carb, high fat, high protein? Okay, okay gotcha, go. Gotcha, my man, that is um, a great question. A lot of people think it's about going super low carb or super low fat. We think it's just about getting a, a equal distribution of fat, protein, and carbohydrates. So we got a calculator that kind of helps you do this. If you want to check it out, we'll link it in the description below. And once you plug in your numbers for that calculator, you'll have a better idea of what we suggest you do with your macronutrients. My only other addition to that would be that Overall, keep protein high, but the argument between like fats and carbs, which one's better or not, listen guys, you, your body and your brain needs both fats and mm -hmm. carbohydrates, so what I would recommend is not going on the extreme of any diet. You should be equally distributing your macros, but always remembering to keep your protein high. Philip Spanger asks, is it possible to do the Getting Lean program because he doesn't have access to a gym, mm -hmm but use the calorie intake from the gaining muscle program, so be eating in a calorie surplus mm -hmm. and still get those results. Brandon, go ahead. So man, here's the deal. You can get so far with just body weight exercises and I would just recommend continue to increase resistance by increasing the, the amount of repetitions you're doing. So if you can do 10 push-ups right now, you wanna build up and continue to do more, there's gonna be an upper limit, there's a ceiling to this. And once you reach that ceiling, you could start to think about if you wanna incorporate more weightlifting. But yes, do calculate your calories for gaining weight and go with that until you see yourself plateau. Agreed. Shannon! Shannon! What's up, Shannon? Shannon. Shannon says, hi guys. I was wondering whether I'm better off focusing on burning fat for another for a little while and then switching over to building muscle or whether I ought to do both simultaneously. I've lost mm. 10 kilos so far, but want to lose a bit more fat. Thanks. First of all, yeah, Shannon, what's up, girl? Mm. Keep losing. Congratulations. Congratulations. First of all. Yes. And to answer your question, I think Dan and I have a similar philosophy on this. We usually tell people get down to the body fat percentage you want. So keep getting leaner, keep doing the getting lean program until you're where you want to be there. And if you look at yourself, you're like, yo, I want I want a little bit more mass in my body. At that point, you can transition over to trying to gain some weight by doing the gaining muscle program and eating a little bit more calories on a daily basis. My only addition to that would be that there is some small bodies of research that say you can do both where you build muscle and lose fat at the same time. But guys, just understand, make things a lot more simple on yourself. If you wanna gain muscle, you, you only gain muscle by eating in a caloric surplus. So you're going to probably hang on to a lot of body fat. That's just the reality. If you're cutting, you have to be in a calorie deficit, meaning that you're probably not gonna have as many calories to build up that muscle because you're losing body fat. So my recommendation is pick like we usually recommend, get lean first and then build up from there. Bosco! 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 Bosco Loon! Bosco Loon! Dude, that sounds like an awesome... That is a dope name. Hip-hop artist name, yo. That is a cool name. Congrats, congrats on your name. Do you have that Twitter handle? I would get it. He's got like a cool profile pic too. Look at that hair. Nice That's kind of like your hair except even more. Just more. Like even more. More yeah. of this. Dude, good hair. Nice. Bosco asks, 
How do you Zen dudes know each other? Well, once upon a time, Dan and I lived in the same apartment complex in Austin, Texas. But we didn't know we lived in the same complex, and Dan listened to one of our uh, this but this dude Scott Britton's podcast. Yeah, who was on Scott, my podcast. Shout out to Scott. Shout out to Scott. And then tweeted me. Yep, right? tweeted you. And then we tweeted back and forth, and then we realized we lived in the same building, and um, then that was that. Yeah, so to add to that, what Brandon doesn't know about this story is that I've been stalking him since I was 12 years old, and I actually gained information that he was moving to Austin, Texas. Uh, so I made up a story about how I moved there from New York. Natish asks, what should I cut out of my diet if I'm trying to lose weight? Great question, my friend Brandon. Will you do the honors? You should cut out the mindset that you need to cut something out. That's what you need to cut out of your diet. Woo! Nice. Because that was cool. If, in all honesty, we want you to eat foods that you enjoy so this is sustainable for you. So like we told someone earlier in this episode, focus on your total calorie intake, the macronutrients, and eating 70% whole foods. Beyond that, Eat whatever food you enjoy. Eating should be a fun thing that you enjoy every day. You don't have to cut out, the, the mistake people make is cutting out specific foods. Mm -hmm. The worst thing you can do is just indulge on any kind of food too much, whether it be an avocado or a piece of cake. Don't cut things out of your diet because it doesn't teach you how to deal with temptation surrounding those foods. All it teaches you is to, to just get rid of them and that is not the kind of behavior that we want to learn around food. How many people do we know that have cut out sugar or some specific thing from the diet and they still plateau with their fat loss? Yeah, dude, a ton. Like, so why, many are you, why are you trying to cut out sugar? Like, why Don't would you do ever it. want to do that? Would you consider doing any more internships slash letting people in the Zen Dude community to do some work with you? abso freaking -lutely. Listen, Zen New Fitness, like we always say, is co-created. It's us and it's you doing this together. So if you think you can make this community better, hit us up. We'll put our email below, right? Yeah. Put our email below. below. Email us, contact zendufitness.com. Tell us how you think you can make the community better. And if you have something to take action on, let's do it. So if you're someone who does dope <laughs> and you're like, yo, Zen dudes, I do this thing that's dope as <laughs> check this out, and we think it's dope as <laughs> then we will be like, join, like you should be helping us out because what you do is amazing because we just wanna make this the best thing it can possibly be. So if you have, if you're really good at something that can help us just grow Zen Dude Fitness, absolutely, send us an email. Ankar asks, can we start a Zen Buddy system for accountability? Absolutely, my dude, that is exactly what the free four week challenge is that we linked you up in the first line of description. You should post a comment that said, you should post in the group and say, who wants to be my accountability buddy? And then everyone else, if you want to be buddies with this dude, yeah, you know, you gotta, we, got, below. we got so many cool people in the community, yo. You can like ask, what I would recommend is asking someone specifically mm -hmm. like, hey, um, you know, hey Barry Freeman, I see Ooh. that you're active in here. Do you want to be my accountability buddy and uh, you know, check in with me? I like your yeah. style. Yeah. Can I wear your pants? Yeah, you can share pants with other people in the community, that's fine. Raphael says, how do you create a great community of evangelists for your business or niche? Everybody loves Zen Dude Fitness Man. Yo, I appreciate you, Rafi. Mm -hmm. um, books to read, actions to execute, marketing strategies, thanks. I like this question, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. My dude, it comes down to one thing. You have to care deeply about the people you're trying to help. And it was easy for us to, for us to do this because we went through these transformations ourselves. Like we lost the weight, we learned how jump rope made fitness fun, we learned about all this calorie and macronutrient stuff. And we're like, yo, let's go bring this to everyone else. So find something you care truly and deeply about and then go tell people about it. Dude, it's that easy. You just have to give a shit. You just have to give a shit. But the people, the thing that you're promoting, you have to care about it. And secondly, the people that are involved who also care about that thing, you have to care about them just as equally. Andres asks, which surface is best if you don't want to damage your jump rope? Great question, great question. All right, so if you're using the this rope, the cross rope agility rope, you can basically use this anywhere. Anywhere. Except on, I wouldn't use it on volcano. Magma. We learned that wasn't the best idea. Yeah. But. Aside from that, almost anywhere. And then for other ropes, like the speed rope we have over here, like thinner ropes, I'd recommend either jumping rope inside or on one of those rubber mats. 
I mean, you could jump, like we have tile down right here. You could jump, a, use a speed rope right inside. Straight up. Samson asks, how do you guys find such fire music? Thank you. SoundCloud and YouTube is where we find it. We just look for new up and coming artists and share their music in our videos. Yeah, so this is exactly the process. I go to SoundCloud, I type in things like instrumental trap music and then I filter it so mm -hmm. I see which, which uh, artists are no copyright. Then I reach out to that artist and I just send them a message on SoundCloud and I say, dude, your beats are dope, can we use them in our videos? And usually they write back and say, absolutely, just make sure to link us up in the description. Bam, boom, awesome music, jump and rope, holler at your boy. Agniska, 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 Agnieszka? Agnes, Agnes for short, I don't know. Um, she asks, how do you handle situations, ooh, I like this question, good one. How do you handle situations which tear you down or especially other people who try to tear you down? What's your advice to follow your path nevertheless? That's a great one. Ooh, I think I touched upon this last week and it's just don't make your happiness conditional on anything outside of your control. So if someone else has something to say, that's cool for them. That's like their experience or perspective they have on life let them have it, respect them for having it, and then just do you. Like, the only person who is in control of your mindset and your mind and your emotions is you. So, the more you understand and act on that, the better you're gonna be. Absolutely, and guys, there also just comes a point in time where you just have to stop caring. Like, if you really wanna do exactly what you wanna do and like what, like, you know exactly what you wanna do because there's a big, like, ball of energy that's like sitting in there that's telling mm. you, this is exactly what I wanna do, you just have to get to the point where you just don't give a shit. Because guys, no matter how successful you become, there's always, all, you can be the nicest person in the world. There's always gonna be people who don't like you or think what you do is stupid for whatever reason. So at some point, you just gotta stop giving shits. Stephen Williams, he asks, how long did it take each of you to lose 70 pounds? Great question. Great question. So for me, I lost the first, I would say like, 50 pounds more or less in about 13, 14 weeks. And then over the next like two years after that, I lost the last 20 pounds because I was really figuring out what kind of physique I wanted. And the physique that we promote now is one that doesn't take a ton of time in the gym, but allows you to maintain a good amount of muscle mass. So I lost a little bit of muscle, mostly fat. That's how, that's how I did it. I guess it was about three years. Nice man. Mine was about two years total. In college, I was like 260 and I lost 40 pounds. Stayed there for like a year and a half. And then once I moved uh, to New York, that's when I lost the last 30 and really got down to that like 8% body fat, like 190 pound frame. Right. Shane Peters asks, what camera is best for YouTubing and vlogging, sharing your experience with, with previous cameras and your current as well? Also tell us how you record your videos. Brandon, go ahead. Dan, I know you love this stuff more than anything, so I'm gonna let you just handle this whole question. I love these questions because I'm a huge audio and video nerd. And just to let you guys know, here's how I'm gonna answer this question. Brandon and I have used like mediocre gear. Like we have a cool GoPro, we have like two DSLR cameras, but they're the basic ones. Nike, Nikon, Nike, Nikon D3200 and the Canon 5, 5Ti, Ti, 5Ti, Ti5, Ti5, Rebel T5i. Rebel T5i. Rebel T5i. Mm -hmm. To be totally, totally honest with you guys, like, and I, I'm someone who's very anal about production quality. Our quality, like you, you notice, it's not the highest it could be, so I wouldn't suggest like getting the exact cameras that we use, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. What I would recommend is getting a GoPro, because GoPros are awesome, you can you know beat the shit <laughs> and they take great videos. Get a DSLR and check out the video that I linked up below because this other YouTuber who's really popular, Casey Neistat, has a great video on which products you should be buying. Uh, just to let you guys know, Brandon and myself are gonna be purchasing a lot of the products from this video um, because we think it's, they're the best. And then in terms of how we record our videos, I don't wanna get into that, like if you're talking about specifics, because that would take forever, we'll do a separate video on this. 
But what I would say is just in general, how do we record? Bro, we set the camera up and we roll. We just go. We just go. We just so, go. No script. Yeah. So my point in saying that is if you were looking for like a strategy on how to do things, focus less on that and just start making videos. Dude. Do like the thing. Do the thing. Like if you have like an iPhone and iMovie, start making movies. Bam. All right, Josh, last question here on Cactus Time. Mm. Any advice to consume the appropriate amount of macros and micros in college? Mm. Also, tips on not overeating in the dining halls. Yeah, this is a good question. Ooh. All right. Ooh, I, I don't know too much about not overeating in dining hall. I don't know either, man. That's how we got to be so big. Dining halls, college. Yeah, I don't think I actually know that much about undereating <laughs> in dining halls. <laughs> Can't help you. Okay, man. No, straight up. This is what I would say. I would, I would say, man, you got to skip breakfast at the dining hall and just go feast later because let's be honest. You're not gonna not go talk to that ice cream Sunday machine. Unlimited bacon for breakfast? Like, Come get on. out of here, bro. You're gonna have people making you breakfast burritos on the spot. And you're gonna not hit, you're gonna, you're gonna be in a calorie deficit? I don't think so. Yeah, just don't eat for half the day, then go feast your face off. Um, in regards to when you should work out, whenever you're gonna do it. It's all about just being consistent and doing it. So whenever you feel your best, do it then. The best part about being in the co in college though, which I wish I would have known about calories and macros when I was in college, mm -hmm. is that you actually do have all the foods necessary to build a killer physique. Are you kidding me? You have like unlimited hard boiled eggs, sausage, like you can just go to the college dining hall and ask for like a piece of chicken breast and they'll give it to you. So my point is, Whatever food, like our simple meal system, you can get some of those bowls made in the dining hall. My point is guys, there's endless amounts of food in a college dining hall. The biggest thing you need to focus on is the amount. So instead of going in the morning and getting six eggs, a pile of bacon, mm. two bagels, mm. that's what I used to do. Um, so good. Get like a little bit of Greek yogurt with some granola and fruit on top of it and just have that be it. So the point is, you can definitely eat healthy in college dining halls. The trick is just to not overeat. Thank you for turning, tuning in to this week's episode of Ask the Zen Dudes. We got another episode coming for you next Tuesday. If you like this video and you want to see more of these where we answer your questions every single week, again, it's on a Tuesday. This club is always going up on a Tuesday. And if you want to ask those questions every single week, and you want more information just about how to jump rope and live an awesome lifestyle, mm -hmm. subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up on this video, and we promise you that we will continue to up the quality of what we are doing so that we can help you look happier and healthier with the jump rope and to live a more epic life. the exact faces and noises that my parents used to ground me over. I would do those faces and noises and my parents would be like, if you do that again at the dining table, you're not, you're not going out to your friends tonight. And I wait like five seconds and, and I'd be like, yeah. Again. And they big truck series part three. <laughs>